Welcome, my fellow Clash Royale enthusiasts. It's your host, Galadon. Thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming, more Clash Royale action. And today, I just wanted to take a few minutes and delve into this whole idea of the three bridges. Uh, we've seen images that have shown up on Reddit recently. A lot of people have talked about it. People have made videos of questioning validity about the idea. We've seen photoshopped thumbnails and other things of three bridges. But what is the truth? Well, I'm here to tell you the exact and precise truth straight from the mouths of Supercell themselves. Okay, so I have the clear scoop, the clear skinny on it, and I'll give it to you in about 15 minutes. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, so we're going to look at some cool battles, but I will tell you guys this. Okay, I have a, an official statement from the Supercell Clash Royale team near the end of this video, and I will actually put it up on the screen for you. In the meantime, I'll just tell you, don't hold your breath, okay? Don't think that this is coming anytime soon. In fact, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's likely that we never see the Three Bridges Challenge. Now, there's a lot of different reasons for it. First of all, just think about the logistics of putting a bridge right smack in the middle. You're not really creating a third lane. Uh, you're not, you don't have a third lane there because of the two existing crown towers units are going to veer to the left or to the right and go after one of those first two crown towers. Now, maybe when one's down, that will make a difference. If the left tower is down, you drop a unit down the middle lane on the left-hand side just to go to the right tower. But you already have that wicked middle deployment like you see Monrobus dropping the balloon right there, right on top of the last remaining tower. That is so evil, so hard to counter when you see a balloon, royal giant, uh, three Musketeers especially, uh, even a Hog Rider or, of course, Elite Barbarians. Anything like that dropped right in that center thing, that center spot. It is so hard to defend against. And while well, Monrovis on his way to completely wrecking his opponent here, even though, check out those two towers. At one point, he had less than 100 hit points left on his total crown towers. Now, back to the subject at hand. So, the idea of a third lane in the middle... Unless you're going to make something really elaborate, like widen the whole playfield, uh, or add a third crown tower, I don't see just a third bridge popping in the middle being that significant of a change. And I don't think, honestly, just based upon what I'm thinking, it wouldn't be that crazy, that exciting. Speaking of excitement, there you go, Monrovis, grabbing that win. Uh, I think that there's probably other things that could be more interesting uh, and more fun to do. Uh, but you know what? I bet you the Clash Royale team would love to have your feedback. I want to hear some new challenge ideas. If you guys come up with a new challenge idea, put it down in the comments or tweet me. And if I use it in a future video, I will definitely hook you up with at the very least a tournament for your clan, maybe some gems. Maybe I will come over and wash your cat. Probably not. Maybe a dog. I'm a dog person, really, anyway. But, okay. So, another full attack clan member. This is Blaze, also using the Lava Hound. But, of course, this is from a draft challenge. Now, I will tell you this. Blaze said in the clan chat that he accidentally gave his opponent the Lumberjack and accidentally took the Rage. Apparently, he was randomly clicking on stuff. Uh, I don't know. Man, that's some confidence if you're just going to randomly click on the cards in a draft challenge. I mean, I take every last of the 30 seconds to decide, and sometimes I run out of time. Anyway, so, like I said, come up with some ideas. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see you put a really good idea down there and have it rise up through the likes on the comments so that I can see it. Even though, yes, I do try pretty hard to read the comments every time a new video comes out. Legend has it. So... With that being said, the Draft Challenge, a lot of fun. The Double Elixir Challenge, even more fun, I think. I like the Double Elixir Challenge, but I do kind of feel like it's time to see something new. Now, obviously, the Clash Royale team is working on some amazing stuff to come to the game. Uh, they've talked about the idea of reworking the tournaments, which I really, I'm really holding out hope for. I mean, you guys know that I'm a big proponent of tournaments and would love to see something new and exciting come to the arena of tournaments, even though I'm terrible at them. It would still be cool to see that added to the game. The challenges, I kind of feel like that's where they've put a lot of their energy recently. But then again, 
you know you know that there's other stuff coming out that's going to add to the game modes of this game, not just the same old recycled challenges and not just new cards, although I'm not complaining, I do like the new cards. So getting back to what Supercell said, I'll give you a little more before I give you the exact word-for-word -word quotation. And that is that it is real in that it's something that they have tested out. So they have tested it out. So the images that you see, I don't know where people got them. I honestly have no idea the validity of that. But the fact that it's being discussed somewhere and the Clash Royale team admits that they have tried it is interesting. So is somebody leaking something somewhere? What's going on over here? Somehow, somewhere, the information that Supercell has did get out to the public, or there was a really good guess. In any case, like I said earlier, just don't hold out hope that you're going to see it in the game anytime soon. It would probably take a big, huge outcry from the Clash Royale community asking for it. Uh, and even then, I don't know if they do it, because honestly, here's the thing, and I hate to say this, but the Clash Royale team probably knows by now what is going to work and what isn't going to work in their own game. They've been pretty successful so far and uh, so I'm just going to have to give them the benefit of the doubt that uh, they know that maybe this isn't the next big thing. Alright, speaking of next big things, there is a big win right there for Blaze from Full Attack grabbing one crown in another draft challenge mode. And we're going to take a look at one more battle. This is Ad Blubby. Don't ask me where these guys come up with these names. Uh, in the draft challenge one more time. So again, we're talking about future possible challenges because that is a great way to add things into the game and, you know, they can add in temporary tests, temporary challenges to see if players like them. The problem is you guys have to realize that adding a third bridge would probably take a huge amount of development time simply because you can't just smack in a third bridge and go, okay, units can go over this. You're going to have to deal with all of the whole single pixel spacing programming of if unit A goes to space B, then C happens. And you're going to have to have all these if then, if whens, and it's way over my head. That's some like C++ Terraformax Mega Galipto Eclipsian training. Anyway, so yes, don't look for it. Just don't think it's coming. Let's focus on something else. Again, give me your guys' ideas. I want to hear what you guys think about what great challenges to come would be. How about Triple Elixir? Okay, that's not an imaginative enough. Again, I'm a big fan of new things, stuff we haven't seen. Uh, it's the same as I don't want to see Elite Archers. I don't want to see Three Hog Riders. I don't want to see Triple Elixir or the Double Reverse Draft. But what about some sort of competition between clans? What about something like that that involves more players? Uh, you know, obviously... We're not going to think so crazy as to adding a third tower. I don't think they would reformat the whole way the game works. But just the same, there's a lot of things they could do with new cards. The Battle Ram challenge was super cool. I loved that. I hated the Electro Wizard challenge. I thought that was terrible. I I'm kidding. It's because I didn't get an Electro Wizard, but... 11 wins. Come on, people. Ugh. Anyway, so you know that there's probably more stuff like that coming because the fact that we've seen it twice means that the first time was probably pretty successful and maybe even more so because it wasn't all only 12 wins that unlocked it, although I guess it was a legendary, so it sort of makes sense. Whatever. Moving on. So add Blubby battling in this, and it looks like he's got some headway here. Got a lot of damage on that left tower. He's got elite barbarians. Wait a minute, those aren't elite. Man, Those if they were, they were the slowest elite barbarians of all time. He's got the hut going. So he's got the hut pumping out barbarians, just regular guys. And he's getting a lot of damage on that left tower. And why don't I go ahead and show you guys the exact quote from Supercell, okay? This is their response to, what about a three-bridge challenge? They said, and I quote, We've playtested it, found that it wasn't amazing, super fun, and moved on for the time being. Uh, meaning that they haven't put any more dev time into it, meaning the developers aren't spending any more time researching it, like I said, trying to figure out the programming code and that sort of thing for it. They've moved on. They've tried to find something that they thought we would find even more fun and exciting. So, again, my advice is let's put our trust into the Clash Royale team and let's also give them our suggestions, okay? So don't hold back. Let it flow down in the comments. You never know when you're going to earn free gems from me or a tournament for your clan for a great idea. Here comes the end of this battle as Ad Blubby is working on getting that tower down. The princess chipping away. 
So many Barbarians pouring out, and that is the end of it right there. Six seconds in overtime, and the opponent laughing all the way to the uh, lost column. Alright you guys, that is going to wrap up this episode, but thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for your comments in advance down below. I know they're going to be amazing. Check me out on beam.pro slash Galadon. Follow early for the big insider benefits. And of course, return again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon, you can come watch Fluffy. She's a dirty girl.